Hey guys, just giving an update since we've been in Illinois. Um, it's been slightly over a week since we've been here and definitely when we first got here, um, a surge of emotions came over both of us and it really just didn't help that the weather was atrocious. Um, we came in in a really bad storm and so um, that didn't help the way we felt. And it's weird how the weather can really just affect your emotions and how you're feeling about the day. Um, anyways, things are definitely a lot better <laughs> emotionally anyways. Um, we're really happy to be here and we're really happy to see our friends and family and it's really so nice to see everyone. We went to our old church on Sunday and I... Uh, it was emotional happy for me because I was really excited to see everyone and um, it just brought back a lot of good memories there and just a lot of solid people um, to talk to and have fellowship with and it was really nice. We've had play dates with people from church and stuff and it's just, it's been really nice and um, the kids love it. Uh, they really like seeing their old friends. Courage remembers, remembers them all and um, it's, it's really nice for him. So anyways, uh, we have not sold our trailer yet. So we did lower it to 3200 in hopes that the price would help someone to take it. Um, we are eventually going to just do, probably tonight or tomorrow, a video on our RV just showing like um, its flaws and what we've done and um, just so someone from who's not from the area can see it if they wanted to come down. There was, I think there was a guy from Ohio who messaged me but he didn't want to make the trip. Um, if there was like major stuff wrong with it and he couldn't see it in person and didn't want to waste the gas. So I think I'll make a video just for that purpose. Um, anyways, we have looked at a trailer that we really liked. It's a 28 foot Coachman fifth wheel. Um, and we did decide to just stick with the fifth wheel um, because it just, we just really like pulling a fifth wheel and we, we went back and forth between a travel trailer and a fifth wheel and uh, there's just not enough storage in a travel trailer um, and that the one that we actually looked at the fifth wheel we looked at actually has almost no storage on the outside it's really bad and I think it's just because it's so short uh, but the inside storage has a lot of space so we're hoping that that with the bed of our truck can counteract the amount of space that we're losing in our basement area on our current fifth wheel so hopefully um, something good will happen with that we went down it was about an hour's drive to go even see the trailer I found it on eBay and realized it was local I kept my eye on it and it didn't sell so I messaged them and just asked them if I could come look at it and um, we did go see it uh, a couple days ago and we just really liked it really really liked how short it was it has one slide and it's just the dinette, so it's a very small slide, but surprisingly it does make a difference. It has three bunks in it, and it's not its own room. The, it doesn't have its own bunkhouse room, um, but I think that we can make do. Uh, however, if we got it, my husband and I would get our own bedroom, which would be lovely because it, my husband's doing Amazon again this year, and he's always tired. I know he's gonna be tired. So to have our own room for him to just block off and go sleep uh, is going to help tremendously. So uh, they are asking quite above our budget. The only way we would be able to possibly afford their asking price is if we sold our current rig uh, for 3200 and uh, sold it quickly. Uh, so my husband and I talked about it and we did offer a low ball price um, and it would be cash. So we do have some savings 
uh, that we saved for this specific reason. And um, it's quite a bit below what they're asking. So we're just praying for favor <laughs> right at this point um, because we really like it. And the other ones that we've seen um, aren't even near our price range, like at all. They're like 15 to $20,000. And this one that we're looking at is probably worth about eight or nine thousand, um, and we just don't have that kind of money. So we have only a few thousand dollars. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm not afraid to offer a, a low offer just because it's really all we have, and I'm not trying to take them. You know, if they say no, then they say no. It's clearly not meant to be. Um, but. That's where we're at right now, and thank you for all your messages and your uh, comments. We really are just doing fine, but I tell you, it was just really emotional coming into this state. <laughs> um, so our kids are doing really good. Our kids have adjusted wonderfully. They were, Courage especially, was really terrified that after seeing his Nana and a few of our friends the first uh, couple days, that he wouldn't get to see them again for a long, long time. So he was really emotional and didn't want to leave them, uh, but we had to continuously assure him that we would be here for a few more weeks so he would see them. Uh, so that's where we're at right now, and it's good. Things are good. We fixed the uh, the breaker on our RV, which is good. However, we did have some. We had the um, the lift lever break on the front jacks. I think they're called. Um, the switch broke, so it it actually still works. We just have to directly connect to the battery. Uh, so we have to get that replaced, or the new owner would have to get it replaced, or something like that. So, anyways, I'll show you Lake Springfield, which is where I'm at right now. This is the lake, and we're staying really close to here. Our campground's very close to the lake. It's uh, less than a mile. But it's very big. It's actually way bigger than this. There's a, a bridge over there. I don't know if you can see it. And there's a whole other massive portion of the lake on the other side of that bridge. But this lake brings back a lot of memories because we used to take our dogs here. And uh, it's really emotional for us because every time we come by the lake, we think our dogs. And it's just, it was really sad putting one down and giving the other away to be adopted by someone. So, um, but it's nice. It's really nice just being here. And it's just kind of serene to come here and think. But that's all I got for you guys now. I'll probably be making a video of the RV sometime soon. And then, um hopefully have an update on the the low offer that we made on the RV that we recently seen. So if you guys pray, pray for us to get this RV. And if you don't pray, send us your positive thoughts. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.